Hello and welcome to another episode of Focus Wednesdays. So today I'm going to show you how to change the color of an object. So in this photo here I'm going to change the color of her shoes, but this technique will work for any sort of color change that you need to do, whether it be a baby blanket in a newborn photo, or if you just have a client who's wore a color shirt that's a little bit off that you'd like to change the color of. This same technique works for any sort of color changing that you'd like to do. And the other great thing about it is I'm going to show you how to do it non-destructively. And what that means is um, we're going to make these changes without affecting the original image. So without changing the background image at all, we're going to make these changes. And that's so that if you make something that you don't like or if you're unhappy with it, you don't have to start from scratch with the original. You can just delete the layers that you were unhappy with. So the first thing we're going to do is duplicate our background layer. So we're going to hit Command J on our keyboard or Control J on our PC if you're not using a Mac and it's made this duplicate layer here. Now the first thing we need to do is go and select the colors that we want to change. So we're gonna go up to the select menu and we're gonna select color range. And from here at the top there's a drop down list. Now if you just had just a flat red color that you wanted to change or any of these kind of colors, maybe a blue sky or something, or if you had a shadow, so if we wanted to change um, maybe just the shadows in this image, um, we could select that. But for the most part I think you're probably going to use sampled colors and that's the way I'm going to show you how to do it here today. So you're going to want to make sure that your plus sign is selected. And that means that any shade or tone that you click on in your image is going to be added to the selection here. I've already selected most of the magenta here, but you can see if I select something a little bit different, it's uh, selected that. Now if you make a, an error here, you can always change it in your layer mask after, which I'll show you, but um, you can always just go here to your minus button and then select those colors and they'll be removed from your selection. And then to just fix this up a bit, you're just going to re-click just the part of the photo that you want the color changed to. So I'm just going to make sure I've selected most of the magenta on her shoes and go from there. So once you have your selection mostly made, you can hit OK. And now before we turn this into a layer mask, we're going to do one other change and that's to go up and refine the edge. So we're going to go to select and then hit refine edge. And from here we can fix kind of some of the edges. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a halo effect going around around the shoes here. So I'm actually going to shift my edge in about minus five. And it's going to bring away some of that halo just a little bit. And I'm also going to feather the edge as well. So I'm just going to bring that up to about four or five and it just kind of smooths out the roughness of the edges. So I'm going to hit OK. And don't be worried if there's other little parts here that you don't want selected. We can change that here in the layer mask in a minute. So I'm going to hit OK. And then the final step is to just turn this selection into a layer mask. So you're going to come down here to the bottom of your layers panel and you're just going to hit the little layer mask button, which is the square with the circle in the middle of it. And it's going to make a layer mask of just that selection here on the right for you. So now we just want to make our color changes. So to do that, we're going to make sure that we've selected our layer, but that it's on the actual layer and not the layer mask. And then we're going to go up to Image, Adjustments, and Hue Saturation. And from here, the Hue Saturation box will pop up, and you're just going to drag your slider um, to the left or right or what, whatever you need it to be, whichever way you want to go, and it is going to adjust the color of your object for you. So here it's changing um, the color of the shoes and I'm going to maybe select kind of a bluish turquoise color. So I kind of like that there and I'm going to hit OK. And now if you find that some of this is not quite perfect, so you can still see some of the magenta showing through here, all you have to do is select your layer mask, making sure you've selected your brush so you can hit B on your keyboard, and then making sure that your foreground color is set to white, so you can toggle back and forth between black and white by hitting X on your keyboard, so mine is set to white, and you can just use your brush at whatever opacity you want, maybe a little bit higher than normal, so 72 or so, and you can just brush on the part that you want um, the color to show up on. So if any magenta or any of your color is still showing through, you're kind of just going to paint it away with your white brush. So I'm just going to touch up a little bit here. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, one final thing you can do is again just making sure that you are on your 
layer and not your layer mask, you can go up to image adjustments and select color balance. And here you can just kind of adjust your colors a little bit more. If uh, they're still looking a little bit off to you or a little bit weird, you can play around with them a little bit here and have them look just a little bit nicer. So I'm going to hit OK and I'll show you the before and after. So here's the before with the magenta shoes and here is the after with the green shoes that is done non-destructively so that if we didn't like it we could just delete it later. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can find me over on Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Mm -hmm.